I'd like to call this meeting of the Raton City Commission to order, please. Could we have a roll call, Michael Lynn? Mayor Sagata. Present. Mayor Pro Tem Schuster. Present. Commissioner Chatterley. Present. Commissioner Chavez. Present. Commissioner Giacomo. Present. Would you all please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I want to thank everyone for coming out tonight. Effective uh, January 1st, City of Raton gross receipts tax was reduced to 8.2708. That was a result of the one cent tax going down to 0 0.75. Uh, all city offices will be closed on Monday, January 21st in observance of Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Our next regular commission meeting will be Tuesday, January 22nd, right here in the chambers at 6 p.m. And this is a notice to the public. Immediately following this meeting, a quorum of the city commission will be present in the city commission chambers to record a short radio advertise, advertisement with KRTN Radio. And at this time, we would like to recognize the holiday decorating contest winners. Lori. A member of the commission. So I'm here to represent the Ratch Home Beautification Coalition, and we did a holiday decorating contest called the Winter of Wonder, which Jared named because <laughs> we had Summer of Color, of course, and we had the Winter of Wonder. And we ran it all on Facebook. Um, we had several nominations. We had nine nominations for residential, we had three for business. So, uh, do I have any winners? Okay. So for our residential winners, uh, number one was Tina Vijo Torres. Who's here? Monty Franklin. You're Monty. I don't have Tina, I don't have Carol Morris. Well, Monty, come on up. <laughs> you get them all. <laughs> <laughs> you get them all because you showed up. Sure, I'm not so, <laughs> so you get this, and hold on. Twenty-some years have been decorated. You've got some goodies in here. There you go. <laughs> there you go. So we appreciate not only it. this wonderful certificate, you got a pool pass. You've got uh, some different gifts in there from some businesses around town. That fudge in there is from Willie Smokehouse. It's very good. I, okay. I actually saved you some. Thank so you. thank you so much for thank participating. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And for our businesses, oh, there's another one. Number one, Chad Browns. All right. <laughs> of them remarked on how nice downtown looked. I had somebody said it looked like it was straight out of a Hallmark holiday special. <laughs> so I just want to thank everybody who participated. Yay. Good job. Thank you. Next year. Thank you, Lori. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you. Okay, at this time, we will take comments from the general public. Anyone wishing to address the commission may do so at this time. Okay, not seeing anyone, we'll move into the business portion of the meeting. Action items. Act number A, approval of the December 11th, 2018 regular commission meeting minutes, the December 17th special strategic planning meeting, and December 28, 2018 special meeting. They were in your packets. Hope you all had a chance to look at them. I found no changes. Make a motion to approve all three. I'll second. I have a motion and a second to approve the minutes as stated. Is there any further discussion? All in favor, vote by the sign of aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item B, our favorite one. 
Deliberate and act on the open meetings resolution 2019-01. This is something we go through every year. I'll let Michael Ann explain the details here. Uh, Mayor and Commission, in your packet is our open meetings resolution. Um, it's pretty much the same as we've adopted in the past. Um, the only change that we did make um, was we changed the uh, six public places that we uh, post the agenda and all we did was remove the county hmm. and add First National Bank. Now that doesn't mean that we won't still post at the county as long as the office is open. Um, but there are times being closed on a Friday, we finalize our agenda Thursday afternoon and if we have to make a revision or something, um, we're unable to repost on a Friday there. So for that reason, we just added uh, F and B, and then um, International Bank actually has a nice community board that they added to their lobby, so that'll be more accessible for the public. It used to always be posted right. on the door. I think they would tape it on the door. Um, but other than that, uh, we still will have the agendas available at the Senior Center, the library, um, and the post office, in addition to the First National Bank and International. So. Um, that was the only change that we made. Um, we still follow the same rules for posting for regular meetings and special meetings, 72-hour notice. Um, and we still meet on the second and fourth Tuesdays of each month at 6 p.m. Ready? yeah. This is just general housekeeping, really, at the start of the year that we have to approve. No, we have to approve. We have a motion. I'll second. And we have a second. Is there any further discussion? All in favor, vote by the sign of aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Item C, deliberate and act on City of Raton 2019 holiday schedule. Mr. Berry. Mayor Commission, uh, in front of you, you have a uh, schedule of holidays that the uh, City of Raton has traditionally uh, followed and uh, closed city facilities. Um, and I bring this to you for your consideration, and I'm looking for uh, some action by the commission. I'll tell you that it's been some years uh, since the commission uh, had taken action on this, but I think it's appropriate that you uh, probably vote on this annually. Now, I would say that uh, it hasn't come in the past because a significant number of city employees uh, are covered under a uh, collective uh, a bargaining agreement in which uh, this list is uh, is, is detailed and so we have four of those agreements uh, that uh, generally contain this schedule here uh, so the Commission does approve those at various times um, but for non-represented employees we would generally follow the same schedule um, and I'm I think it's appropriate that the Commission would vote on this at the beginning of the year uh, now at the top of the list is uh, January 1st, New Year's Day of 2019, and of course uh, that uh, has already occurred, and we do at the end of the list have uh, January 1st of 2020, so you would be uh, approving that. And then I think the uh, last uh, comment I'll make to you, Mayor and Commission, is that uh, we also list a personal holiday that's uh, where some other holiday is, has been swapped for basically a floating day. Uh, the the uh, provision in union contracts is you 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 could take that somewhere between your uh, birthday occurring or if you don't do that you <coughs> lose that but it is a, a floating day that uh, the employee can use basically throughout the year right. and I would just look for endorsement of the commission on this list or uh, your input and your comment on the list <coughs> So they, they don't have to take it on, on their birthday? They do not. It is a floating day, correct. Very good. We just use the birthday to begin a period and end sure. a period. Okay. Right. Okay. Very good. Any other comments, questions? I'll make a motion to approve City of Raton's 2019 holiday schedule. I'll second. I have a motion and a second to approve the City of Raton 2019 holiday schedule. Any further discussion? All in favor, vote by the sign of aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Item E, deliberate and act on resolution 2019-02, adopting the name. Up, oh, up. Nope. Oh. Item D. Sorry. Deliberate and act on memorandum of understanding between the city of Raton and the Raton Chamber of Commerce. Mr. Berry. 
Madam Mayor and Commission, um, in your packet you have a uh, revised memorandum of understanding uh, between the City of Raton and the Raton Chamber of Economic Development uh, Incorporated. They do business as the Raton Chamber of Commerce uh, and the agreement generally discusses uh, the Chamber's uh, responsibility in managing the visitor center day to day and if you'll recall it, uh, several years ago uh, New Mexico tourism uh, which uh, uh, had a similar agreement with the city of Raton announced that they would be leaving Raton and uh, they terminated a couple of employees that they had and since that time uh, the chamber has taken on that role of managing the visitor center keeping it open uh, uh, making information available to those people traveling through Raton, significant number of people that uh, travelers that stop there to get information. Uh, I think they've done a, a great job of that uh, and have enlisted the uh, help of uh, volunteers throughout the community. And typically we're talking about volunteers that are very knowledgeable about the area, very helpful, uh, present Raton in a great light, keep some of those travelers in the local area maybe a little longer uh, rather than the uh, state tourism habit of sending them directly to Santa Fe. So I think all in all that's been a, a, a pretty good development and, it, and it's worked and hopefully that will continue to work uh, as we go in the future. Uh, there is a financial component to the agreement as we have discussed before uh, that is generally uh, funded through lodgers uh, tax revenues and we would anticipate that will uh, uh, remain unchanged and we had talked about specific terms previously so uh, I, I can tell you this uh, mayor and commission there are some different things that we talked about um, I had the task of trying to uh, you know incorporate that in an agreement I think there's probably some things we could still talk about today I bring the agreement to you uh, we can do uh, whatever uh, the Commission would like. I've also submitted the agreement to the Chamber for their consideration. Uh, D, I did not get a chance to talk to you today about uh, where the board, your board is at on the agreement, uh, but I uh, uh, bring it to you tonight for your discussion and you, your consideration. Thank Mayor. Thank you. D? Uh, just in the way of update, uh, the board voted last night to adopt this agreement as you have it. Uh, we're very pleased with it. We feel like it um, is going to allow us to take the next next step in uh, really uh, making that visitor center what it needs to be. Uh, I mean, I feel like we've done a really good job and we're very proud of where we are. But in order for us to take that next step, uh, that financial consideration is very important. And so uh, we did come to terms on a lot of the details that we briefly went over last time. And the board is very happy with it. Um, I will tell you the, the discussion went from how do we get out of this <laughs> to what more can we do and that, that was really wonderful to see. Our board members have worked incredibly hard as have our volunteers. So to have this sort of support from the commission uh, by way of lodgers tax is very very important for us continuing that vision and that mission. So we thank you very much for that. Mm -hmm. Any questions or comments for Ms. Burks or Mr. Barry? I just have one question on item 16. And um, so the chamber shall attend the meeting in April and then also they're attending four city commission meetings. Is that correct? Um, I just uh, wondered if that was... Mayor, uh, Commissioner Chatterley, uh, what uh, staff talked about here was um, <coughs> if this is, if the source of funds is promotional funds, then certainly the, the Lodgers Tax Advisory Board uh, has a function there uh, it's prescribed in uh, state statute um, we think that's going to continue to be the source of funding uh, certainly we we need to report to lodgers tax advisory board include them in what we're doing get their recommendations uh, on this going forward and you see a term in here but yes we do anticipate that uh, we need to keep them informed and and receive their input that's, I would, that's actually, I, I completely agree with that too. Lodgers Tax Force meetings were fine. I'm looking at 16 where right. they're also required to attend four commission meetings a year. Right. I didn't know right. if that was additionally necessary or. Yeah, no, I, I, with the intent there, and, uh, um, uh, I need to look at this a little closer, but. It looked like it might have been a little bit of a. 
we we move something around and it just kind of stuck on there. Yeah, my yeah. Under our understanding of the intent was that we submit updates to the financials as to how that money's being spent on those dates four times a year. Right. Um, of course, we'll come and attend because hey, we love to be here. But it's just so you're updated on what's going on. So that's certainly no problem. But uh, my understanding was it was basically to meet that financial reporting requirement that you all are updated on where we're at on the budget. Correct. I think we're talking I about. Think 16 reads. I think we need to strike the last line in 16 because yeah. it requires them to attend in April to give a report and still the quarterly is in a different number. But this also says. The chamber shall attend regular meetings of the Ratcliffe City Commission at least quarterly. Yeah, it's and not. So that I really that wasn't was the intent to have that in there, and I saw that. I thought, well, maybe we take that little line out. Yeah, not really the new intent. It, okay. uh, quarterly reporting, but uh, we do want the chamber, as well as really all of our uh, uh, community partners, to participate in the budget process in mm -hmm. in the springtime as we're putting this together. So that's really the intent. Uh, so yeah, I agree with you. Okay. Any other comments, questions? I just know how hard you guys have worked at putting that visitor center together and becoming a viable board. I've been working with you for the past few years. And I'm very proud of the progress you have made. Thank you for all your hard work. Thank you. Oh, and just as a note, the visitor center will not be closed on Martin Luther King Day. <laughs> it's holiday weekend. You know we're open. <laughs> See yours. So. Yeah. Make a motion to approve the memorandum of understanding between the city of Ratone and the Ratone Chamber of Commerce. Can we add just to strike that last line in that second sentence in 16? And to strike item 16, last line. I'll second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve the MOU between the city of Ratone and the Ratone Chamber of Commerce with the noted changes. Is there any further discussion? All in favor, vote by the sign of aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Dean. Thank you all very much. Now item E. Deliberate and act on resolution 2019-02, adopting the name Heritage Park to the facility commonly known as the Multimodal Transportation mm -hmm. Center. Mr. Mary. Mayor Commission, this is in response to uh, a request that was brought to the Commission uh, some time back, several meetings back, uh, by Mr. Frank Ferry, who is here present tonight. Uh, we have uh, responded to that and brought back to the Commission for your consideration this resolution that, by your action, uh, would name that facility Heritage Park. And what we anticipate uh, uh, if the commission approves of this step is uh, then we would follow up with additional signage. Uh, I, I think there are a couple of ideas on, on uh, how we would uh, denote the importance of that term Heritage Park and we've tried to express that in the resolution, the historic nature of the downtown area and, and uh, some of the history of Raton and that and we, and we would try to capture that in additional signage as we go along. Okay, and if it would would be all right with the commission, I'd like to read the resolution to let the folks know exactly what we're talking about. All right. Do you have before you do? Do you have anything, Frank, that you want to add to this? I uh, just appreciate you guys doing this. I think it's really going to help. Work. And that's uh, going to be helpful. We're all descendants of immigrants, so I think it's a really good deal. It's a good place for people to meet. I think we appreciate you working on it. Absolutely. Well, you recall that when we first started this, Mr. Ferry brought it to our attention, wanted to name it for a certain family. Well, that met immediately, that met with some pushback because how do you pick out in the, in the whole community of one family? So then when he came back with Heritage Park, and uh, one of the things that I've talked to the city manager and to Frank about is he also had a saying with it, and he's going to find that and work it out. And I like that saying it's about the, uh, I'm going to try to be politically correct, the Slavs and the Italians and all the way down the black, the black everybody that, that came to this area to work in the mines. And I would I asked him would he sign it at the bottom, Frank Ferry. And we could put a plaque that would state that that happening. So I can read it to you if you want. <coughs> sure. Heritage Park. 
This park is dedicated to immigrants who migrated to the United States and to the Raton area. Decades ago, they left their home countries and families to find work and most of all freedom. They came to work in the coal mines, gold mines, railroads, ranches, farms, wherever they could find work. And some became store owners and mom and pop shops. Others became business owners and bankers. They left a legacy and a heritage we can all be proud of. The people came the very fabric and foundation that makes our country great. Very nice. That'd be great. Okay. That's all I have to say if you want to read it. I'm sorry to butt down. Oh, you're fine, man. You're, you're a good guy. <laughs> well, let's let's uh, take a look at it. the resolution is 2019-02. It's a resolution to adopt the name Heritage Park to the facility commonly known as a multimodal transportation center. Whereas the city of Raton has constructed a multimodal transportation facility in order to connect rail, bus, and vehicle transportation. And whereas the multimodal transportation facility has been designed and constructed to serve an additional function as a community gathering location. And whereas the multimodal transportation facility has been constructed in the First Street area of the Raton Downtown Historic District, which is listed on the National Register of Historic Places and includes many historically significant buildings. And whereas Raton was established in 1879 as a trade and transportation hub and the commercial and financial center of coal mining operations in the Raton Basin area. And whereas Raton and northeastern New Mexico became home to numerous ethnic groups that, might, that immigrated to work at area mines, railroad operations, and maintenance, farming, ranching, and other job opportunities. And whereas the Raton City Commission wishes to support continued revitalization of the city's historic downtown district and recognize Raton's history and the unique cultural influence of the generations of citizens that built and developed the community. Now, for, now therefore, be it resolved by the governing body of the city of Raton that the city of Raton, New Mexico, has officially designated the name Heritage Park to the Multimodal Transportation Facility, passed, approved, and adopted this 8th day of January 2019. Thank we thank you for your work. Thank you, John. I make a motion to accept resolution 2019-02. Second. Oh. We have a motion and double second, double second. to approve resolution 2019 02. Is there any further discussion? All in favor, vote by the sign of aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Do we just write your hands? We can. Just <laughs> Item F deliberate and act on resolution 2019 03. Wow. Adopting the official Raton, New Mexico brand. Mr. Barry? Uh, Mayor and Commission, uh, we bring this resolution to you tonight uh, in regard to something that we've talked about for a number of months uh, now, the branding effort uh, that has taken place in Raton. Uh, you remember that a committee was appointed to work on this. Uh, the champion here is Commissioner Chatterley, uh, Commissioner, if you could ad address this maybe in a little more detail, but I think it's a very successful uh, effort uh, and it uh, cul culminates with the uh, adoption by the commission here, but that's not the end of the effort. I think that adoption of the brand is uh, really the first step in an overall marketing and promotional plan for Raton, and uh, I think it's something that's brought together our, our various uh, partner groups in Raton uh, and the city, and I really want to recognize the efforts of our committee and uh, Commissioner Chatterley who have put in uh, a lot of hard work to get to this point. So, uh, Mr. Chatterley, thank you for what you've done. And if you've got uh, some comments uh, that uh, would tell us where we're at on this, I think uh, uh, there's a lot more uh, work to come. Awesome, yeah. So I think this is pretty self-explanatory, and you guys are already very familiar with that. It's just adopting the actual uh, slogan, the rat tone your past, and then the logo and all the digital elements and everything that goes along with that. Um, Right now, we are working on a partnership agreement that kind of mirrors what New Mexico True uses, that um, we will be, I'm drafting that right now, and we have a meeting uh, in, around January 21st or 22nd, I can't remember which date it is, uh, that we are going to be looking at that draft. We're also going to be starting the discussion on monument signage and wayfinding, <coughs> and uh, looking at some other elements. And then later that week on the 24th, we're meeting with Robin Bobian and starting on the marketing end of things. So we're, we're really ready to move forward. It's 
like um, uh, Manager Barry was saying, you know, that we, we've done a lot, but there's always more. So I think the group, we're trying to expand the group as well because it's kind of dwindled with people changing positions and whatnot. So we'll be inviting some more people to join the team. And um, I guess that's it. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer your questions for either Mr. Barry or Commissioner Chatterley? Okay. Would entertain a motion. I will move to approve resolution 2019-03 adopting the official Raton New Mexico brand. A second. We have a motion and a second to adopt resolution 2019-03 the adoption of the official Raton New Mexico brand. Is there any further discussion? All in favor, vote by the sign of aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Item G. Public hearing, deliberate, and act on ordinance number 1002 pursuant to NMSA 1978, section 1-22-3.1-2018 to opt into the election of the municipal officers of the city of Raton in the regular local election. Mr. Barry. Mayor and Commission, uh, you remember back to our early <clears throat> December meeting, we had talked about the uh, New Mexico election Act and how that impacted municipal elections and uh, we had presented as a part of that discussion uh, three options to the Commission about how to proceed uh, forward and uh, the option that uh, was uh, directed to staff was to uh, develop the ordinance that you see in front of you and that would be for the city of Raton to uh, opt in to the uh, November regular election and that would also extend the terms of uh, of uh, city commissioners. And so, uh, under the present ordinance, uh, we would have our next municipal election in in November time. And I uh, believe that would be of 2021. I'm looking at our city clerk. We talked about some of the uh, benefits of that. Would be uh, the city would not be responsible for conducting that election, which can be. Uh, very time-consuming on a on a staff that uh, has got uh, a lot to do and uh, generally is uh, operated shorthanded here. So um, I think that's, from my perspective, a, uh, a benefit for this. And then, as far as the uh, uh, the public, there you would uh, go to vote in November with everything else that's on the ballot. Uh, uh, you know, something we talked about there was uh, some communities will stay with a March municipal election because of the concern that if there are uh, uh, tax issues or other uh, issues on the ballot uh, and you combine those with, with uh, state uh, bond issues or other financial things, there may be a lot for the public to, uh, to evaluate. Uh, however, that's not typical in Raton. I would say on the average, uh, it's maybe about once every 10 years where we have a tax ballot on the issue. And, and we should have it out of the way now. We handled that last time. So, uh, so we bring the uh, ordinance to you for your consideration. Um, I'm sorry, Mayor, I'm referring to the... Uh, to the uh, uh, agenda here, and uh, we have uh, established a public hearing as well to get the input of the public. And I do have our city clerk on hand to answer any additional questions that I may have missed or not covered, or uh, if she has some additional comments. All right, as Mr. Berry stated, this is also a public hearing as we are adopting <coughs> an ordinance. At this time, we would take any input from those wishing to speak to the commissioner, Mr. Berry. Okay, seeing none, I would entertain a motion. So move. I'll second it. We have a motion and a second to adopt ordinance number 1002, an ordinance pursuant to NMSA 1978, section 1-22-3.1, 1 .1, 2018, to opt into the election of the municipal officers of the city of Raton in the regular local election. Michael Ann, could we have a roll call vote, please? Commissioner Chavez? Yes. Commissioner Giacomo? Yes. Commissioner Chatterley? Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Schuster? Yes. And Mayor Sagata? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Item H Deliberate 
an act on consent and assignment agreement between the city of Raton, Raton Public Service Company, and Twin Eagle Resource Management, LLC. Mr. Berry. Um, Mayor and Commission, um, this is something that I have worked on with Raton Public Service Company for uh, some time. Uh, when we talk about Twin Eagle Resources, uh, we're talking about our purchase power agreement uh, for Raton that uh, Raton Public Service Company manages for us. We do have uh, the board president, Kathy McQuarrie, is, is on hand. Uh, just a short statement from me, I would say that uh, we put this on the agenda anticipating that we would have completed our due diligence uh, on this agreement. Uh, I would say that we have not completed that due diligence. Uh, we're working on that. Uh, my recommendation to the commission is to postpone this item. I, I do not have a date that we would, a firm date that we would complete that due diligence and get back to you. Um, however, we anticipate that it would happen in the near future, possibly as soon as the next meeting, uh, if we can, but uh, I'm not able to state uh, firmly that that's what we would do. But uh, this is in that process of, of uh, legal review currently. Okay. Um, Kathy, uh, I don't know if you have any additional comments on this item. Um, Yes, I think, you know, as the commission is well aware, we have been working with Twin Eagle, who is our PPA, uh, to try to secure additional provisions for, for the ratepayers of RPS. As Scott stated, we have been in negotiations and having discussions with all the parties that are involved in this, uh, primarily with Twin Eagle since September of 2017. So uh, it, it's taken a long time to get to this point, but we are still doing our due diligence and working with council and power and uh, analysts to, to figure out, and all parties involved, to figure out exactly what's best for the ratepayers of Raton and RPS. So hopefully we will be back soon within the month to uh, be able to recommend action on either this assignment or something else. So uh, we will be, as they say, back in touch and uh, looking for your consideration at that time. Are there any questions for Ms. McQuarrie or Mr. Murray? I'll make a motion to postpone item H, consent and assignment agreement between the city of Redstone, RPS, and Twin Eagle Resource Management uh, until uh, the time that the due diligence is complete. I'll second it. We have a motion and a second to postpone item okay. H, the consent and assignment agreement between Raton and RPS and Twin Eagle Mountain or Resource Management. Is there any further discussion? All in favor, vote by the sign of aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item I, deliberate and act on bid award for four-wheel drive support utility vehicles. Mr. Berry. Mayor and Commission, uh, under this item, we had requested sealed bids uh, for two vehicles with, that would be used in the fire department and would replace existing vehicles that um, are uh, at their reliability uh, end. Uh, so we had requested those bids. Uh, we did receive one bid. It was uh, not compliant with our bid request. Um, and at this time, I would recommend to the commission that we reject that bid. It was a bid submitted by Phil Long Ford, uh, and that would allow us to rebid uh, the contract. And we anticipate that uh, we would uh, um, see a new bid would, would straighten up the issues that we had on, on in, in receiving this past bid. Questions for Mr. Berry? I will move to um, reject that bid. A second. A motion and a second to reject the bid for the new four-wheel drive sport utility vehicles. Any further discussion? All in favor, vote by the sign of aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item J, deliberate and act on resolution 2019-04, the November 2018 financial reports. Ms. Antonucci. Uh, Mayor and Commission, in your packet this evening is the November reports uh, since we didn't have a second meeting in December. 
um, you'll see that uh, our ending cash balance in the general fund uh, as of November 30th was $1,670,801.19. Um, the distribution of gross receipts received in the month of December was once again lower than expected. You'll see that uh, that puts us 0.4 percent below our budget projection which is just slightly less than ten thousand uh, dollars below what we've projected through the month of November so as we've talked in the past um, this downward trend is still very concerning to the city of Raton um, and it could possibly continue through the winter months uh, because those are the months especially we don't know as of yet your uh, November your December check would be reflective of October sales so I mean we wouldn't know the result of the holiday sales locally probably till the Feb February distribution would reflect December so um, you know we're going to continue to monitor this as we've talked in the past um, we're going to review the budget and try to identify any non-recurring expenses that could potentially be delayed until later in the fiscal year or postponed and rebudgeted in FY 2020. So we're going to be working with our department heads to do that. Um, we did receive the um, first half of the property tax distribution. As of when I had done this report, I hadn't received it, but I have since received one distribution and I should be getting another property tax distribution in a couple weeks. So um, that will improve our cash flow uh, going into the month of January. Um, and then we also are anxiously awaiting the small cities assistance distribution and um, that will be received at the end of the legislative session. So we should get that in March. And so as we've talked, if this distribution is higher than what was budgeted, these additional funds could be used to offset any sort of a GRT deficit that we're experiencing. Um, however, if that check does come in less than, than budget, then we're going to have a larger deficit that we need to, to figure out how we're going to manage that. So um, hopefully, um, you know, prior to the fourth quarter, we'll kind of know what measures and steps we need to take. Um, because it's very important that we balance the budget. Absolutely. And so DFA, as we move forward with our quarterly reports, they monitor and track that we're meeting those budget projections. So um, also, just as a reminder, the uh, City of Raton, the new tax rate uh, went into effect January 1st. Um, it did go down a quarter percent, and it's now 8.2708%. And uh, this tax decrease is a result of the ballot question that was passed by the voters uh, in the March 2018 election. And that was the passage of Ordinance 997 to lower the supplemental gross receipts tax, which is dedicated to water capital improvements. Uh, the 1% supplemental GRT ordinance number 666, which was effective in July of 81, that was also repealed as a result of the bonds being paid off in December. And so both ordinances took effect concurrently, effective January 1st, resulting in the quarter percent tax decrease. Is there any questions? Any questions for Michael? I make a motion to approve uh, resolution 2019-04, November 2018 financial reports. A second. So motion and a second to approve resolution 2019-04, the November financial reports. Is there any further discussion? We have a roll call vote. Michael, please. Commissioner Chatterley? Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Schuster? Yes. Commissioner Giacomo? Yes. Commissioner Chavez? Yes. Mayor Sagata? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Item K, deliberate and act on resolution 2019-05, City of Raton. FY19 budget adjustment number seven, my plan. Um, in your packet, uh, we do have uh, budget adjustment number seven. Uh, there's just a couple items that we're adjusting. We did receive a state grant. Uh, we haven't received the funds yet, but we did receive the award letter um, that the fire department was awarded a facility improvement grant. And this will be for the renovations to the upstairs of station number one on Clark Avenue. 
and so that grant will be a hundred thousand dollars so we'll be adding those funds revenues and expenses and then also um, several months back uh, the Commission did authorize the creation of a new fund for the filter plant project uh, the notice to proceed on that project was received last month so this would just um, be the final setup that we need for that fund uh, per the budget for the grant and loan on that project and then also the proceeds from the Raton Waterworks. So that's all I have for you this evening. Is there any questions? I'll move to approve budget adjustment. Adjustment number 7 FY19. I'll second. Motion and a second to approve resolution 201905 budget adjustment number 7 for FY19. Any further discussion? All in favor vote by the sign of aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Adam L. City Manager's Report. Mr. Barry. Thank you, Mayor. Um, today I did attend the uh, town hall meeting that was held here uh, along with uh, most of you commissioners and a lot of the folks that we have in the audience uh, here today. It was uh, really to meet with uh, our uh, senator from the New Mexico legislature, Pete Campos, and uh, Jack Chatfield, who was a uh, representative of the House of Representatives. Uh, Mr. Chatfield is uh, newly elected, replaces Dennis Roche, uh, and uh, we really got a chance to talk about uh, uh, what we see here in Raton and, um, you know, communicate that to Representative Chatfield. So um, he reminded us that he is being sworn into office on uh, January 15th, and so for a few more days, uh, Dennis Roche uh, is our representative. But when the uh, session starts uh, it will be Representative Chatfield. We look forward to working with both of those gentlemen. I think we had a, a, a very productive uh, meeting today in which we had uh, extensive communications that uh, we um, have not really been able to do in some past years. But uh, because 2019 is is really looking like kind of a watershed uh, year for the city of Raton and with the New Mexico legislature, I think it was a timely time to do that. So uh, the one thing I'll mention specifically out of that uh, is that we got a chance to talk with uh, both rep uh, both of those legislators about our Lake Bloya Dam project. Uh, we stated that uh, improvements to the uh, the service spillway as well as inspection of our outlet works are both projects that uh, are fully designed uh, ready to bid ready to bring a contractor on uh, we had talked about that uh, during our capital outlay assessment uh, roughly it's about a million and a half dollars that we estimate that work to be uh, and we will be talking to the uh, state engineer's office the dam safety bureau specifically about uh, trying to fund uh, those projects and so uh, that's the one thing I'll mention we had a, a lengthy discussion about uh, a lot of issues in rat um, speaking of the New Mexico legislature it does convene uh, January 15th at noon uh, this is a 60-day session. <clears throat> it will run through uh, March 16th. I think that the city of Raton uh, really does not have any specific legislation that uh, uh, we'll track like we have in some past years, but I know that the Municipal League uh, does. And so uh, there's uh, the, the concerns to Raton. We've really participated in that Municipal League policy uh, process that they have throughout the year. and and uh, we look to support uh, uh, some of the initiatives that the Municipal League will have. So I anticipate uh, a number of trips to the legislature during that 60-day session. I would point out to the Commission that the Municipal League has scheduled uh, Municipal Day on February 20th. Uh, typically, uh, that will begin the day before the 19th. They will have an event that is attended by uh, uh, a lot of the legislators uh, and staff at various uh, departments of the state so that is a good networking opportunity that will be at the La Fonda in Santa Fe and for uh, each of you commissioners if you would think about your schedule uh, for that event municipal day um, I will have uh, the office reach out to you and and see if that's something that you plan on will help with those arrangements but uh, typically uh, that's a, a uh, an event where the Municipal League will uh, do a pretty good job of evaluating 
uh, legislation that uh, is being considered by the House and by the Senate and uh, where we're standing on some of that legislation. So because I think there are some watershed things that are going to be talked about, I think we definitely want to track uh, that legislation as it goes. Uh, moving along, uh, I can tell the Commission that the asphalt recycling machine that was purchased with funds from last year's capital outlay uh, appropriation from the legislature. Uh, we received that. We've been using that uh, piece of equipment extensively uh, here this week with a little good weather. We've had that out in various uh, parts of town and you'll remember that that's where we uh, recycle old asphalt or millings um, and uh, retask those and do our patching with that. So um, we're able to do patching in cold weather with that machine. We've been getting good use out of that. Uh, I think people will see that working around uh, town. I know we have some potholes that have showed up out there, but uh, we are out trying to keep up with uh, those things. Um, I had had some discussion today with some of our partners involved in this. I'll be speaking at a uh, rally for the Southwest Chief, the Amtrak. Uh, route that's scheduled in Las Vegas on April 19th, so we have a little time to talk about that. Um, but there will be a rally held there. Uh, I will get some additional information for the commission. Um, certainly important to Raton, and when we held our rally in Raton, we did get a lot of our partners from uh, the area and from Kansas and Colorado that attended, and so I'll be going down and I'll find out from you if that's something that you can support as well. But I think we want to keep those kind of events going and express our support for the Southwest Chief. Um, to report to the Commission on some of the construction projects that we've had underway, the uh, Hart Brilliant Waterline Project, we did take a little shutdown due to the holidays and some cold weather. Uh, we do anticipate that we'll reach substantial completion of the construction of the project by the end of the week, uh, and then a couple more weeks for final completion. So we'll wrap that project up. The Great Blocks project uh, downtown has also been affected by weather and holidays. Uh, we're doing some work this week to try to button that project up. Uh, we'll take a shutdown for the rest of the winter. We look at resuming that uh, in March or April, uh, try to complete by about the 1st of May. You'll remember that there is uh, some plant material and some irrigation work that we would need warm weather for in that project. So uh, we will take a shutdown for uh, about uh, 60 days, I would anticipate. Uh, we are starting some new projects, as Michael Ann had talked about uh, a little bit. We're starting the design phase of the uh, renovation of our uh, station number one fire department. That's the station located in downtown Raton and Clark Avenue. It actually is a third phase of that project, and she talked about the receipt of the grant funds uh, to go to that uh, really kind of a fast track project. So, uh, uh, fire chief has met with. Uh, our architect on that. We're trying to get uh, that design work done, uh, get that submitted, and we'll see likely a quick turnaround on that project. Um, in addition, we're starting some activities on the filter plant project. Uh, that's uh, something we've talked about for quite a while. Uh, currently, the contractor is submitting uh, their uh, shop drawings, equipment submittals, material submittals uh, for review by uh, Raton Waterworks and uh, the engineers. Uh, we anticipate that start site construction can start uh, as soon as March. Uh, we'll have to see how that goes because that is going to be affected by uh, federal government shutdown. Some of, the, some of the people in USDA that we would uh, communicate with, uh, they're not at work right now. So we'll, we'll monitor that and see how that goes. Um, and then <clears throat> we started discussion of uh, the design of some uh, renovations at the Shooter Theater. Uh, the particular concern there is the basement area. That's typically where performers at the Shooter Theater would uh, use prior to coming up and going on stage. Uh, it's been a while since we've done any work in that area, so we're focusing on that, and I'll uh, bring some more information to the Commission as we progress uh, with that project. Um, I did talk to uh, Dan before the meeting, uh, and uh, we I would report to the commission that we are still using our Cimarron River water source, uh, Eagle Nest Lake Cimarron River. Um, so we are not 
we're taking a minimal amount of water from Lake Maloya, and, and Lake Maloya has steadily come up. Uh, you don't get a lot of inflow this time of year because of freezing conditions, but uh, we've seen that slowly come up. And uh, uh, with a uh, little bit of snow up there, I think we'll see that full and spilling again this year. Um, so we'll stay on Cimarron River as long as the weather allows us to. Uh, freezing temperatures can be a problem in, in releasing water to the river and then picking it up in our intake, but uh, we've managed to do that uh, so far this winter. Uh, Rattan Waterworks has responded to several leaks uh, all over town that uh, we see show up typically when you get that freezing weather. So they've been uh, busy with those. Nothing major, but uh, it's not unusual to see some leaks. Mostly we see those on service lines that consist of, of older pipe. And so they've been busy doing that. And that's all I have, Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Berry. I would say that I think today's meeting was quite productive. I think it was going real well until Commissioner Chavez accused the senator of stealing his biscochitos. <laughs> it kind of turned south after that, but you know. I was there. The facts are a little questionable, but there's something happened with biscochitos. <laughs> I can't trust politicians. You guys know that. <laughs> All right. Item M. Uh, the entertain a motion to go into closed executive session pursuant to NMSA 10-5-1H6 certain purchases. Item M. No second. We have a motion and a second. Could we have a roll call vote, please, Michael Ann? Yes. Commissioner Chatterley? Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Schuster? Yes. Commissioner Giacomo? Yes. Yeah. Commissioner yeah. Chavez? Yes. Mayor Sagata? Yes. We are in closed session after about a five minute recess. Open session. The minutes will reflect uh, that the matters discussed in closed session were limited only to those specified in the motion to go into closed session and also as advertised. And no action was taken. Um, if all commissioners uh, would signify by a vote of yes or no. Yes. 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 Thank you. All right, we are back in open session, as Michael Ann said. First, I want to thank you all for sticking around with us. I know it's been a long day for many of us. And I want to thank you all for uh, your participation in the RFP for Economic Development for Ekram. It shows that everyone is interested and I think we're going to be a better community for it. Um, decisions to, to dole out money is always tough. Uh, we like to try to make everybody happy but we know that's not always possible. However, I, in this case I think you're all going to be pretty happy, <laughs> I hope. Uh, we of course had the special meeting concerning the center on December 28th. You all were needing the 21,000 partnered with uh, Trinidad for the event going on there. That was awarded on the 28th. We appreciate the work that you guys are doing. Um, in uh, additional conversations, it was conveyed to the commission that you would uh, possibly like an additional, instead of the, the your original amount, and Lori, what was that original amount? You're the number person. Sixty thousand. Yeah. Sixty thousand. That at this time, if you could get an additional ten thousand dollars, that would uh, go some way. Uh, we are at this point going to uh, grant that ten thousand dollars to you all. Thank you. In uh, trying to make everyone happen, uh, Mr. Rodman, we had you in here earlier too, and uh, conveyed that we uh, and I. And, let me make this statement too. All of these are in condition. We have to work out an agreement with each organization, each individual between the city and that, that will come back to the, the commission for, for approval. But uh, we do need that kind of an agreement. Uh, Mr. Rodman, we had talked to you about your, your project. We are looking forward to going ahead with that, the $37,000. And Mr. Barry will be getting in touch with you and. Uh, talking about the possibilities of Alita grant on that to where that could possibly be a forgivable loan uh, if certain uh, performances are met mm -hmm. over a period of time. Uh, Mr. Jenkins, you were kind of partnered with uh, Joe there and that uh, in conversations you've had with Paul, uh, with Paul. You've talked with yourself, yeah. <laughs> with Mr. Barry, uh, that you would be willing to come down to ten thousand dollars. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Uh, we've come to the agreement then that we would be happy to support that. 
for the ten thousand dollars and then we had one other um, respondent to the RFP uh, better cities uh, they uh, uh, put a proposal in for forty two thousand with a, a possible addition of six thousand for expenditures uh, at this time we are also going to award a contract with them we look forward to working with them we were very impressed with their presentation and uh, we think they have a lot to offer to the community to help us in that direction uh, now of course sixty eight thousand sixty seven thousand eight hundred and twelve dollars is that it sixty seven eight seventeen twenty four eight seventeen twenty four <laughs> of course was money that was pre-existing from economic development uh, so that means we are going to tap into the uh, general fund for roughly fifty eight thousand dollars so uh, we feel it's it's not a bad investment and if you guys deliver which what we're going to hold you to the fire um, it, it's going to benefit the whole community um, I guess uh, Mr. Chavez said it best while ago however if you don't perform don't come back to us <laughs> the, the, the doors will be shut all right yeah uh, fellow commissioners anything you'd like to say good luck yeah good luck I, th I think uh i'm hoping you guys will enjoy better cities they plan to be working within the community as with you guys as partners mm -hmm. and and really boosting that economic development thing and so we it may be one huge project they may be helping us push through little projects but we're really excited to see all of this happen i think we were we feel that it, it's worth that investment of some of the general fund money of those reserves um, and that we, we hope you won't let us down. <laughs> Thank you all for all the hard work you do all the, all, all the time. I appreciate you guys putting that. We really yeah. do. Absolutely. And we do think that, uh, that it's a positive move in the right direction. And like um, the mayor said, uh, in the past we've had some that said, yeah, give us this and here, and there was no no performance so, so and don't come back you know that's just how I feel don't come asking if you're not gonna if you bust out try it that's different but if you didn't if you just come back and say well I I forgot to do that then forget about it that's my opinion sorry that's all right Mr. Chavez that you always speak your mind and like uh, Commissioner Chadley said it's great that it's local money that we're investing in the community we're investing in you guys so uh, we are bringing in an outside entity, but that entity has expressed the desire to work with what's here. So um, I'm, I'm really excited. So, Mr. Barry, I guess we would, any comments you would like to make? Or? Uh, Mayor uh, and Commission, I have uh, uh, you know, listened to the comments of the Commission, and I thank uh, representing the staff. We uh, have got our assignment. Uh, there, there certainly is going to be. Uh, a lot of responsibility on the city of Raton staff. I'll be talking to my team about that. I'll get with each of you and we will uh, uh, provide more detail. Uh, we're really looking at uh, what, what may appear to be uh, um, a, a number of, of unrelated uh, things here. We're looking at a comprehensive plan and uh, I'll communicate that to you, how we see this developing. We're gonna have some work to do together. Uh, and of course, the commission has, has given me the same caution that they've given to you. We, we wanna see uh, a performance, uh, a, a result out of this, and uh, I'll be available to you uh, to try to ensure that we get, uh, we, we get a result that will satisfy the uh, commission. And if we do, uh, we really look for that uh, uh, positive momentum that Raton needs and so I think we were all excited about uh, the potential out of the things that came in front of the Commission so uh, I will be working with you all thank you I think we're looking at a sunrise or in the past we've been looking at a sunset so I think we're looking at a sunrise for our community I really do absolutely so I want to commend the Commission for your willingness to invest above and beyond the money that was allocated in the budget uh, we have a need in this community for the community to know that the commission shares the vision that we're trying to instill in them and that they have faith in the organizations that are uh, 
working so hard in the community and your willingness to invest that money is very significant. Uh, thank you, Paul. And, and you know, it was a very hard decision because you've heard the financial reports the last three months. Gross receipts are down. Uh, so we're taking a leap of faith and we're placing our leap of faith in the community and you guys. So we're, we're looking forward to it. Hopefully, I know something good's going to come out of this. I really do. We don't take your, uh, we don't take that lightly. You know, we realize the responsibility that you've given us. So thank you. And I know, you know, we're not really familiar with the um, other party that you brought in, but I know that it sounds like they have a lot of expertise, and I'm hoping to learn from them and work with them. So. Well, and that's our hope as well. That uh, in their proposal, they expressed a, a lot, a lot of different ideas that we believe we can learn from, and we can. We can, you know, we have some good team players here, and we believe that you guys can learn from them. And you know, and they did mention each one of the organizations mm -hmm. by name. They didn't just say your local things. They they have done their research, so they have said we'll work with Grow at Tone. We'll work with uh, every every entity that's there. Plus, we'll try to work with your commission. I so, and D, they did mention the chamber as well. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. I think what we'd like to do going forward is uh, maybe uh, to get that same presentation that the Commission saw from better cities and, and yeah. if you all see mm -hmm. this presentation you'll say I get this yeah. now and uh, it, it's exciting stuff and and it, it's a teamwork strategy here it's a comprehensive strategy that we're looking at but uh, I'll we'll work to communicate that uh, in a little more detail as we go and we'll uh, we'll get on it. So, yeah. thank you all. So, I guess yeah. to make this official, we'll need a motion and, and a vote. I'll make a motion. Do you want to delineate all the funds? I would. How do I, okay. can we well, just I, say we're awarding the kids to everyone? <laughs> well, I can go through the recommendation okay. that you just made. So, okay. the center 10,000, Joe Rodman 37,000. Grow Raton ten thousand and Better Cities was forty two thousand plus the six thousand for additional expenses up Poss to up to up would, it possibly could be. would it be Joe Rodman or would it be to Grow Raton the way that it's presented in the RFPs? Well, I think what we are looking at is a negotiating agreement with uh, uh, Hi, Joe yes, or his or his entity and um, i should refer and to it as the name is I bay, it? Bay, bay, bay yeah. enterprises I bay, right. that will be a little different animal we, we will be working closely with that to make it come to fruition as far as the market is. right right it's just that it is a different animal so therefore it kind of has to have different wording mm -hmm. I'll make a motion to approve, as stated by Michael Ann, the awards for business and economic development services. That's okay. And we have a motion and a second to award the, uh, the RFP. Oh, and I think we wanted to add to approve contingent upon execution yes. of agreements to be approved by the commission. I amend the motion. Right. Second. Second. So as amended to to come in line with the agreements that we, we come up with you guys. Is there any other discussion? I think we all know what we're talking about here. All of, uh, well, let's take a roll call vote. Right um, Commissioner Chatterley? Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Schuster? Yes. Commissioner Giacomo? Yes. Commissioner Chavez? Yes. Mayor Sagata? Yes. Motion passes. Okay, thank you guys. Mm -hmm. All right. Finally, my favorite part of the meeting. <laughs> Is there any other business to come before this, this commission? Seeing none, we are adjourned. Thank you.